welcome to my TV show. My name is Charlotte Holland. The program is Sila. It's a Hebrew word. It means stop, pause, and think about it. Just meditate on it. It's a real good word. Do some research for yourself. I want to just thank you so much for watching in Detroit, Michigan today at 2 p.m. on Comcast Cable Channel 20. Woo, woo, woo! Detroit. We come on the fourth Sunday every month. And also, I want to thank those who are watching online all over the world on the internet on BGNTVGospel.com. Thank you so much. Also, there's more. Good news, good news. You can watch CLA 24 hours a day on BGNTVGospel.com. Now, that's a real blessing because this program is to help you, to help people, to bless you, to give you hope. So just let you know, you can smile today. You can, you have a future tomorrow. It's like, it's not over. <laughs> it's like, just enjoy your life. We have special, special guests here today. Who, they're gonna, it's life changing. That's all I'm saying. So you might wanna get a piece of paper and a pen. You might wanna call somebody and just tell them, see, Lot is on the air to be a blessing today for you. This is an awesome testimony. My guests, they're going to share, pour their hearts out to you. We're probably going to have to have a part two because it's not enough time to get it in. It's an awesome testimony about drug addictions. Their names, uh, if I get it wrong, if I say anything wrong, like I told you before in the past, what you see is what you get. We don't edit and we do not rehearse. We have today our special guests, a, a husband and wife team. They are one. They attend International Gospel Center in Ecorse, Michigan, and I don't know why I'm going to give this address and I might give it wrong. It's 375 Celiette in Ecorse, Michigan. I believe, is that right, sister? Yes, it is. <laughs> Amen. Yes, and is. the great Pastor Mar Marvin Nathaniel, is that right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. I'm doing good today. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> I got the middle name right, brother. <laughs> Thank you for what you guys do at International and, and Lady Carolyn. And I just say shout out to, or should I say shout outs? Amen. <laughs> to That's the in entire order. International Gospel family. I love all of you guys. And you know what? Since I'm shouting out, I got to say something personally to Mother Miles. I'm her new daughter, Charlotte, and she's my second mom. I love you, Mama. Woo, Dr. Lavinia Miles. Um, Wisdom Principles comes on Monday and Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Every Monday and Tuesday. Keep that in mind. Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday. Um, Wisdom Principles, 1440 a.m. WDRJ Radio. Please tune in and listen. It, it is wisdom. She's full of wisdom. She's, yes. she's love. You don't want to miss that. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to say praise him. I know. The <laughs> Lord is worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. This Amen. is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And before I turn it over to my guest, my special guest, there is a light on you, sister. <laughs> I see a light on you. It's a light in her face. Do you see Amen. it? Amen. Yes. Can you see it? Praise the Lord. Can you see your own light? I know it's a light. Amen. I just it's I good. hope you guys can see the light on her because I do. And it's just an awesome thing. It's a God thing. That's we good. have Brother Chris, who I just found out is really Brother Robert. Right. <laughs> but I call him Brother Chris. Which is fine. Okay, Miles. And then we have his lovely wife, Janelle. Yes. Okay. So we don't have another name. We need to be no, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Toss it out there. All right. Some people call me Diane by my middle name. Some that's watching you already know that. Does that really matter? No. Look, I'm going to turn it over. This is a testimony that's going to change your life. It's going to make a difference. It might save a life. If it's not you on drugs, you might know somebody that is or that was. This will give you hope. They are living testimonies of the mercy and the love and the power of God. No, it wasn't easy. It was hell on earth, I'm sure. I can only imagine. I don't even want to really do that. And then if I try to think about it too much, I'll start crying. Mm. Just the thought, the thought. Hard to believe that you guys went through all that. But it's still showing me, letting me know, reminding all of us that God is able and God is real. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo, I'll and never give up hope. Never. Never give up hope. Never. You heard her. Never give up hope. Whatever the addiction is, drugs, pills, alcohol, nicotine, whatever it is, God is able. Woo. Amen. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes. Now, who did you guys decide who wants to go first with this testimony? Whatever they say is going to bless you. I can guarantee that. <laughs> okay, so she's pointing the finger at me, so I guess that I, <laughs> it's usually ladies go first. Uh, but no problem. My name is, uh, my first name is Robert. Uh, I was born on Christmas Day. So Hi, I've been, Robert. <laughs> hey, hello. <laughs> So I was born on Christmas Day. Christopher is my middle name, last name Miles. 
And um, uh, so it's usually been, it's been Chris since I just came out my mom's womb. <laughs> so Chris is fine. Okay. And uh, uh, by trade, I'm an electrician. I worked at uh, one of the automobile companies for uh, over 30 years. And during that period of time, uh, you know, I actually got hooked on drugs. Uh, I got introduced to certain drugs while I was at the plant. Mm. And uh, uh, that being inquisitive uh, got the best of me at times, you know. Uh, and uh, I messed up and I uh, got hooked on crack cocaine uh, while I was working. Uh, some people consider some professional people being uh, functional addicts. Today, I don't believe that's a such thing. Uh, hmm. After being uh, after my own personal experience, as a matter of fact, one of my therapists told me that you know you just like a tree planted by water. You being a skilled tradesman, bringing in all this money, you can afford your dope habit right now. Hmm. Uh, but he said, but that tree with this leaves being sprouted out, you know, I have a family of uh, four, four children, uh, Amen. three daughters and a son, and uh, uh, you living in a nice house, uh, Rosedale Park. Uh, your children is being educated nice, nice. Your wife is working and everybody's gainful and employed and things is looking good. The squirrels is playing on your tree, but he said one day that tree fell over and it was rotten on the inside. Mm. And uh, when I, I lost my job at Ford, those words came. It wasn't prophecy, but I can see my life going in a downward spiral. Um, actually, after 32 years at, at an automobile company, you should be leaving uh, a company with a retirement party. Yes. You know, I actually get caught carrying copper outside the plant. Whoa. And I, uh, my last day at, of employment uh, was not a good day. Uh, I got caught by security and it dawned on me that day that, hey, this could be your last day here, you know. And I actually bit the hand that fed me, you know. Um, as a matter of fact, my last day at the company that I worked for, I rode a bike from the plant. Whoa. And you're talking about making $150,000 a year, you know. But the devil, the devil, mm -hmm. and he can, uh, one of his ways of attack is through the mind. Yes. You know, according to Ephesians, you have to put on the whole armor of God that mm -hmm. you may be able to withstand. Okay, and one of his methods is the wiles. You're talking about the trickery of the devil. Mm -hmm. uh, he plants a seed. He can plant a thought. Uh, but if you don't have on a whole armor, mm -hmm. uh, let me just back up a little bit, you know. Uh, and let, let me know if I'm taking up too, uh, too much time. Chop, chop. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was also in Bible college, enrolled at C.H. Mason Bible College. Whoa. At, uh, uh, and my wife was right along with me, and she knew absolutely nothing about my substance abuse. Wow. I was an undercover drug addict in church. In church? In church. Whoa. And you know, I actually, uh, I took my own self off the deacon board because I, I knew I was in a state of holiness and you shouldn't be touching the clean things of God. So I removed myself from being a deacon. Wow. You know, and I know this is my first time. I'm, the, I'm, I'm throwing it out there. Yeah. You know, let it be known. Somebody getting blessed. Right? Amen. And people have to know it's just not outside. It's inside the church. You got to know this. Yeah. And you're sitting next to somebody that need your prayers that need you to fast, that need you to pray. Even while you're sitting there, sometimes the Lord can speak to you and say, pray for them. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was in church, and I was going through crying, and I, going through what my husband was going through. You go through also. Yes, yes. So I'm in tears. Just the whole family. Couldn't hardly make it. And it was a sister that sat by me, 
And she just laid her hands on me and started praying for me. Mm. And I needed that. And she didn't pray, oh God, help her, help her. No, she just laid her hands on me and just started praying. Mm. Then the next sister beside her laid her hands on her and they both started praying for me. I end up on the floor. This was doing praise and worship, so it was all good. Mm -hmm. But I, when I got up, I was much better. Amen. The power of prayer. Right. And did you guys right. mention that even though it was in the church that the pastor was your father? No, I am the son of an apostle. My dad was mighty, mightily used of God. Uh, he went on a fast, and the Lord met him in his closet. And uh, his name, by the way, is Apostle Charles O'Miles. Uh, I have four other brothers, uh, uh, Charles Jr., uh, I myself, Chris, uh, uh, Prince, Pastor, Apostle Prince Miles, Gary Miles, and my pastor, Pastor Marvin Nathaniel Miles, who, uh, once again, we're at 375 Saliat in Ecorse, Michigan. And the phone number, let's see if I get this right, because you might want to... Would you guys go out and speak oh, somewhere? Oh, sure. Okay, I just wanted to get permission. Yes, I talk so much and so fast. But you can call the church if you want to book them or see them or talk to them or visit the church because there's a lot going on over there. They are winning souls and changing lives, and I'm one of them. I, I'm a witness. I'm alive today. I, they don't know it. Well, y'all, you guys know it now. Mm -hmm. One day I'll get my testimony because I will be dead. I don't even want to get on that. Amen. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. But their phone number at International Gospel Center, I'm just going to see if I know it by heart, is 313 mm -hmm. 389-2700. You got it. I got it. Okay, you, you guys, it. give it again. Give it again. 389-2700. And the area code is 313. Call that number. Amen. They will help you. They help people. That's what we do. That's why C. Lai is on the air. And that's why they're, his mom, too, Dr. Lavinia Miles, is on the air to help people, to encourage people. Awesome woman of God. As a matter of fact, speaking of mom, you know, every day is Mother's Day, yes. but this is a particular time of season, you know, Happy Mother's Day. Mom, Happy Mother's Day. Oh, no, let Amen. me tell you this. By the time this airs, Mother's Day will be over, but today is May 10th, 2014, so Mother's Day is tomorrow, but by the time it airs, Mother's Day will be over, so I'm glad he said every day is Mother's Day, Amen. so she'll be glad to hear that <laughs> when, when it Amen. airs, and all the other mothers, too. Right. <laughs> Amen. Now, now, she is the one. Well, praying woman, my my mom, she she could be praying right now. She, and I want to be on that prayer list. Man, <laughs> praying woman of God, and uh, she came over. Actually, she had called my wife. Now this is we talking about Holy Ghost exposure right here. And I do want to say, and a lot of you guys, you you might hear this. I'm gonna tell you that the Holy Ghost is a snitch. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. First time I've ever heard that. It makes sense. The Holy Ghost would tattletale on you. Beware. You remember David when the prophet Nathan came and he began to tell a story and David got all upset and got mad. Who is this? I want to kill this man. And the prophet told him, it's you. The prophet told him. Hey Amen. So Praise God. My mom well, was in her prayer time, and uh, she came over to the house, and uh, I was upstairs, and... Uh, wait a minute. Okay. Let's, let's go back. Let's go way but back. But before she came to the house, she called, and she said, is Chris there? I said, yes, he's here. She said, I'm coming over. She said, how is he doing? I said, mom, he's fine. You know, we were in the C.H. Mason Bible class, and I said, he's doing good. You know, we're studying, we're getting A's, you know. She said, mm -hmm. she said, okay, I'm coming over. And she said, when I come over, I want you to go upstairs. I said, all right, wow. I'll go upstairs. She came over. She said, go upstairs. I said, oh, yes, ma'am. Wow. You can finish from there. Wow. So when Ooh. she came over, she, uh, she said, Chris. She says, twice in my life have the Holy Ghost ever spoken to me audibly. And mm -hmm. once was last night. And he told me that you was involved in drugs. 
And I was oh like, my God, that's how she found out. That's that's how she found out. Oh, I was an okay. undercover dope addict in church. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I I was like, and a couple things happened right then. One, I knew that I was exposed. Yes. Two, I knew I was on the mind of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And now, just to back up a little bit, uh, she said, and I come for the drugs. And just in that little quick, you involved in drugs and I come for the drugs. And then she said, are you? And I said, I thought about Acts, Ananias and Sapphira. And I thought about lying before the Holy Ghost. When Peter told them, they had lied before the men of God. And then Peter told me, he says, you didn't lie to us, but you lied to the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And being raised up in church, you know, you get the gospel. I remember that they died and that I was being, at that moment, I could lie to the Holy Ghost. Uh Uh-oh. To my mom. Mm -hmm. And when I said, Mom, the Holy Ghost don't lie, you know, Mm -hmm. well, I'm still here. (laughs) I'm still here. Hallelujah. So praise God. (laughs) Yes. You still here. Yes. I I know. So uh, thank you, Holy Ghost, for being the snitch that you are. (laughs) God will expose you. Yes. He will expose you. Uh, uh, There's a day that cometh. Where the scripture says that my spirit would not always strive with man. And you don't want the spirit of God to leave you. You know. No. But thank God that uh, I have praying people in my life. Yes. Uh, I didn't have no drugs at that time. When my, my, uh, when my mom came and I says, Mom, I don't have any drugs. But then that was the time to release because I was hooked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to be free, but I couldn't. Right. And there was my but moment. God. But, but God. God. But Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Can, can I just interrupt for a second? Mm-hmm. Your mom told me once that um, it was a time when you were across the street from your house or something, and you lost, you said you lost the house. You know on drugs you lose everything because you right. don't care about nothing except the drugs. You're sick. You need help. You need deliverance. Yes. It's available. Now, something she said, maybe you can help me out, about, I guess you, they were moving you out of the house, and you were on the other side of the street, and she asked you, no, she told you something like, uh, it'll come to your memory in a minute because I, I got it all botched up here. She said something like, son, you on your way to hell. You going straight to hell. That was another time. Okay. That was a different time. Um, she had. Uh, uh, she gave me a call. This was. This was a little over six years ago. She said. Uh, this was a different time when the Holy Ghost spoke to her because I did continue on into drugs. It was not a death sentence at that time, but it was exposure. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, uh, I continued on and I went into uh, substance abuse treatment. Okay. Ten times. Ten times? How long times. were you on drugs? For over 20 years. What? Yeah. Uh, over 20 I, I, years. I, you have, as they say, a cat has nine lives. <laughs> I mean, that's right. the power of prayer. That's the power of God. That's the mercy of the Lord. Yes, it is. And your mother's prayers and your wife and the church, your dad, the prayer mothers in the mm. church. Well, shout out to the mothers of the church. Amen. He said the effectual Amen. fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. much. So it took prayers. You know, it was nothing that I could say or nothing that I could do. He even told me, he said, it's nothing that you can do for me. You can't make me save. He said, the only thing you can do for me is pray for me. And that was the only thing that I could do for him. And you it's did. Pretty. And you I did. did. Look, right. look. Right. They, they're here now today. Amen. He's, how long have you been it. off drugs? It's gone. The, uh, the day before Thanksgiving, that Wednesday uh, of 07. So it'll be seven years coming up this year. Wow. The number seven means completion. <laughs> That's what I read. Anyway. Amen. 
God. And I think it means perfection. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 I read that somewhere. Praise I'm just God. saying. Amen. 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 Seven years clean, yes. free. Not made one free. drop of beer. Woo! No Not alcohol, one drop. No alcohol. No, no more pills. heroin. No, no more cocaine. No crack. No wheat. No, amen. No crack. Uh, you hooked on something, though. I'm hooked on Jesus. Hey! <laughs> amen. I, know, I, I still know. have an addiction. Okay. And his name is Jesus. Okay, I heard somebody call me one time and said that I was a Jesus junkie. <laughs> <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. They use that for drugs. Yes, that's right. Oh, That's right. God. So, uh, the Lord just, just used my mom. On more than one occasion, uh, the Lord would show up. Uh, I lost my house. I lost uh, five vehicles. My wife straightened me out on that. Five? This, this is really interesting. Just a little sad step right here. Uh, through one of the companies who I financed my vehicles through, I hear that you once you uh, get a, a vehicle repossessed, you never can go back to that company. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I had, like I say, five vehicles possessed. And when I went in 2012 now, uh, two years ago, I went to purchase a vehicle. And we sat down and we talked about the people who was going to finance the vehicle. And then I brought up the company and um, I just want to go ahead, if, if I can mention the company's name, I don't know if that's possible. Um, well, anyway. A company. We okay. had five minutes. Right. Tell it. Don't forget to tell what your mom said at that house about. She said, son, you going straight to hell. Oh, that did get something. <laughs> We're going to do a part two or a part three, too. Okay. So, uh, I, I, the dealership, he got on the phone. And uh, when he came back, he kind of like folded his hands and sat down and says, and we're talking about recovery right now. Mm. Since I've been out of drugs so this happened in two, 2012 he says the con this is the company who's financing you I say what I thought they wouldn't do it I'm like I thought they wouldn't do it either he says and guess what they financing you at I'm like you know you know once you mess up your credit is all bad yeah. you is 15 18 percent maybe yes, 20 maybe interest. more yeah a penalty right he says you paying zero <gasps> What? Zero interest? Zero. Zero And percent your car interest. was repossessed. See, we talking about recovery. And we talking about the favor of God on this brother, on this family, Amen. this couple. Ooh, yes. that's love. Amen. Woo. Okay, I know we moving. I know it's going to be a part two. I'm looking it forward it. to it. Thank yes, you, Jesus. we're just not getting started, y'all. And thank you for your program. Oh, God bless thank you. Thank you for being here. Amen. God bless Amen. you and yours forever. And so, um, if this is the right incident, what I'm talking about, uh, my mom, she came over after prayer, and uh, what happened was uh, I was moving out of the house that I was in, mm -hmm. and I said, Mom, bid it on that house right there, and uh, she says, what you get it for? And we're still talking about recovery right now. Okay. I said, I, got, I bought it for $700. She said, you bought that house right there for $700? <laughs> I said, yeah. So my mom gets out of the car, and she starts shouting. <laughs> she started, shouting means to dance before the Lord. <laughs> Amen. She started dancing right on my street. street. <laughs> and I said, I'm not going to let you out dance me. So I, I started dancing, and we was both out there. And we was praising the Lord in the dance. And she said, I prayed, and I asked God to give you that house for $700. <laughs> That, my mom is a praying mom. Amen. <laughs> amen. That number seven again. Number seven again. That, he said amen. Seven years and then seven hundred. See there. Something going on yes. with number seven. Wow. Ooh. All right. Double, Thank God for that revelation. Double, double for your prayers. Amen. <laughs> yes. Praise God. This is Mother Miles right here. Amen. <laughs> That's my mom. She's so beautiful inside out. That's my second mom. Amen. I'm your new sister. Child. Yeah. Amen. Sister, Praise, God. Child. Praise God. Praise God. Now th uh, that's another one, but she was, this time I think you were still heavy on drugs and you were losing the house. And she and I think at the end of it, she when she said to you, she was hurt, she was crying, she wanted to really just wring your neck. I know. And uh, <laughs> you were, they, I think you had lost the house. And she said, "Son, you're going straight to hell." And you said, 
I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. I, I just heard her say, say that to me before. Mm -hmm. But see, the thing is, he didn't want to go to hell. Hell yeah. is real. We don't want we want to talk about heaven more of course because that's paradise and that's wonderful eternal life no pain no sorrow just joy unspeakable joy but hell that's a whole different story but you didn't want to go there no and you wanted people no. to pray for you I did I wanted to be free at mm -hmm. times I would pull my vehicle over and I would pray and I would just say Lord why am I going through this you know I want to be free mm -hmm. and uh my deliverance came through Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. That's one of my favorites. If my people, which are called by my name, That's us. will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. And forgive their sins. And forgive their sins. Amen. <laughs> yes. I do want to say this. I know time is short. That my problem came not through God okay I know it might, you're gonna get some calls on this one <laughs> yes through God deliver me through my mom bring coming forth but I had to quit on my own when I quit using drugs I wanted to use drugs mm -hmm. I'm being honest here mm -hmm. when I quit using drugs I wanted to go back drugs mm -hmm. but when she came and told me that I was the Lord told her that I was going to die and go to hell behind crack cocaine. Mm. Now, that's, that was the treatment that I needed. Amen. That was the substance abuse treatment. Yes. See, he can deliver some, but in some, you're going to have to turn on your own. Mm -hmm. and, and choice. And Sometimes it's a choice involved there. You still made a choice. And, yes, ma'am. And said, I want to be free. And you yeah. got delivered. Praise God. Hey, Ooh. man. Now, I don't know how many minutes I got. We got one minute. So I just want to say this real quick. International Gospel Center, they're having a ladies' luncheon October 10th, 2014. It's $40 per ticket. You can rent a booth for $100 to exhibit or sell merchandise. It's hosted by the lovely Lady Carolyn. And again, that phone number, if you're interested in... Uh, well, the luncheon is going to be October 10th, but by the time this airs, you won't have very much time. So you have to call right away. I still don't know if it's going to be time for you to get in there. But it's 313-389-2700. And if you want to call me, if you want to order a CD from today or a DVD, it's 248-312-9945. Again, 248-312-9945. Charlotte, just ask for me or if you want to donate or become a sponsor or help keep us on the air, feel free, but pray about it first. Be led by the Spirit of God. We are. God bless you. Selah. What's going on y'all, it's Mr. Bell. Some know me as Anton Quarboy Bell. Others know me as Elder Anton Bell. I am co-CEO of Bell Global Network, VGN TV 2090. And I want to invite you right now to get your own broadcast. I'm calling all ministers, all politicians, all business owners. Get your own broadcast right now, starting at $99. And if you have an idea for a TV show, we can bring your idea to reality. We have a package that's available that includes production and facilities. Also, we have advertising packages starting at little $25. So don't hesitate. Give us a call at 313-355-7877. Once again, that's 313-355-7877 to make an appointment today. You never ever let me down and when I'm sinking and sin, you never ever let me drown. You're my life, you're my security. You took my insecurities to put me in the lion's den and took out all the fear of me and gave me a limit to undeniable faith. In your arms, I am safe. And for that, I give